I get the feeling you don't like Christmas. I do like Christmas. Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a Speed Factory Manifold install. Um, our other one was pretty pretty badly broken. Uh, we've got loads of cracks through the middle of it, so we're going to take it off. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video. Yes? You having a fun time? Like always. Hello? What do you want? Hello, what do you want? I'm just looking. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. <laughs> nice Honda. It's one of our nice air spanners. Ooh, fancy. Very nice, fancy. <coughs> Exoracing.co.uk. What you getting out there, Matthew? This is a V-band. Three inch V-band, which we serve on our website, www.xrs.co.uk. Oh yeah, plug. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da! So what are you going to do with your old manifold, Matthew? We haven't quite decided yet. Probably stick it to the wall or, I don't know, throw it as far as we can. I vote throw it as far as we can. Yeah, alright. Check out our next leaderboard coming up next week! <laughs> <laughs> We wait, we what? wait now. What do we wait for? Now we wait. Why are we waiting? We're waiting for all the coolant to drain out of the block. And then we are going to... Um, we are going to then take something else off. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hey Matthew. Yes? Show us what you've just taken out. <laughs> <laughs> So these are both for the manifolds. This is our shiny new one from Speed Factory. This is the old one. Um, it's basically cracked all the way down there. It's also, you can't really see, but it's cracked on the flange as well. Um, but looking at them both, the build quality on the Speed Factory one is much better anyway. Uh, the walls seem to be a lot thicker. All the welding is much nicer. So, Definitely more confident about running this. Yeah, right, let's put it back together. Woo! Just so you know, YouTube, he you put it on backwards. <laughs> That intentionally, just so we know the bolts were right.
So, finish the uh, Speed Factory Manifold install. Um, it's all in here, nice and shiny. We bled the radiator and everything else of it. Um, it was a bit of a pain. We did have to remake the whole drain and a few other bits, but overall it went pretty well. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with it. Now we'll go see if we make more boost. It's nice, isn't it? Watching this video from home. We've been here all day. Perfect. 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 Hello Matthew. Hello. How, how does it drive? Very good. <laughs> I think we fixed the boost problems. So, we were supposed to go and test drive the car, but something happened. Didn't it, Matthew? Tell them what happened, Matthew. Nothing happened. Tell them what happened. Nothing happened. Okay, I'll tell them what happened. So, basically, <laughs> we had to clock the turbo because it was wrong. And then we put everything back together, had to sort out all of the oil drains and oil feeds, and it was a massive pain. Right. And then Matthew and maybe me both forgot to re Definitely both of us. tighten the bolts for clocking the turbo. And on the way home, we might have lost four of them? Three. Three of them. So we couldn't do any filming that night. And this is why we're here explaining to you what happened. Oh yes. But thanks for watching anyway. One what? more thing to add before we do go. We do have water meth installed now. Which, what happened with the video? Well, <laughs> we did have a video kind of planned. I completely forgot to film it because we were here till very, very early hours of the morning. And yeah, that was kind of the end of it. So we don't actually have a video on that, but... We'll film some pulls with the draggy probably next week. Mm. We'll do some with the water meth on and off. Um, give you a quick walk around of the water meth kit installed as well. Um, yeah. My bad. Yeah. But anyway, like, subscribe and comment and do all of that stuff so you can actually see us drive the car for once. And have a nice hey. time! Don't be like that. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>